Today, we're doing some housekeeping. After cutting that pig head, we gotta clean the tank. <laughs> <laughs> so we get a lot of people asking us how it works and how much water it uses, why is the water dirty, why are we doing this, and just a bunch of questions like that. So we're gonna use this chance to answer some of those questions and then show you what it takes to clean out the tank. How often do we clean this tank out, Craig? Oh, about every six, seven months. So we'll empty it out so that it's just water, and then in about six months, it'll have about this much sand in it again, and then we'll have to clean it out again. And this tank goes all the way to the floor. It's about three feet deep. That's just water and sand. Abrasive we use, it's kind of like a sand material. It goes in right here. And that's what it looks like before we use it. And it's a very finely crushed garnet. And that is added into the water through this hose right here. And that is used to help cut whatever the object is. A lot of people ask why it doesn't cut the metal table underneath it. And the short answer is, it does. Actually, uh, yeah, so there you can see where it's all cut. So the stream is going to take the path of least resistance. So it's going to deflect to the front or to the back because it's an easier path to take than it is to go right through this, you know, the steel slat right here. we reuse the sand? Uh, no, that would be a no. But once the sand is used, it's, uh, it's not very clean. Here, what's this, Mitchell? We'll have to do a taste test. <laughs> what is that? Uh, clean it up. Yep. <laughs> that is definitely some pig. It was stuck in the drain here. <laughs> you got something. What is it? It's a... Uh, what is that? A it's a piece of metal. Just a piece of metal. Keep looking, you'll find something valuable soon. One load down, plenty to go. so dirty but it's not dirty when it comes out of that water that comes out of the jet is actually very filtered first the water goes through this water softener right here and then it comes over to this filter which is about a six micron filter and then it goes into this one if you can see that and that is a one micron filter and then it goes into this one which is a 0.5 micron filter this is the pump right here that pressurizes it up to 60,000 PSI. And then it comes out of this tiny hose right there. And it only uses about a gallon, a little under a gallon and a half a minute. So not a lot of water. Okay, now the last step is just fill it up and put the metal slats back in and we're ready to cut again. But if you guys enjoyed this video, let us know if there are other questions that we didn't answer. Um, leave them in the comments and maybe we'll do another video like this again in the future. Um... I love when you get anything. <laughs> Don't subscribe yet? Yeah, subscribe. Goodbye.